Hi guys, today is another little paracord project. We'll be looking at the box knot, which has this characteristic box shape and we'll be forming it into a box knot cross. So this one's going to need four pieces of paracord. Two of them are 150 centimeters or 59 inches and two of them are shorter pieces, 90 centimeters or 36 inches. I'm going to start off with the shorter pieces of paracord and I want to locate the center of each piece and then lay one piece on top of the other piece just that they cross over there at the center. And then with the strand that runs underneath I'm going to take one to the opposite side and then this strand also to its opposite side just so I'm forming a loop here at the right and then a loop here at the left. I'll take my top strand over the first and then through that bottom loop. And then I'm going to take my top strand over one and then through that left loop. And I can just draw this whole thing together. And then I can just repeat that process. So I'll take one strand over and the next strand over to the opposite side. And then it's going to be over one strand and then through the loop. And again, over one strand here and then under the next. And then I can also pull that tight. Just pull on all four strands. and repeat the process either strand to its opposite side I'm going to take my top strand over one and then under one and then the bottom strand also over one and then under one So I'll do one more here, just take each strand over to its opposite side and take this bottom strand over one, under one and then the top strand over one and then under one through that loop. and pull this whole thing tight. This is going to make the top of the cross, so just keep repeating that process until this length here is about one, one and a half inches long. So once you get this one to around about one, one and a half inches, you can set that one aside for the time being, and we'll start off with our other section and again we just want to find the center of each piece and cross them over and we want to use the same color on the bottom for this second set as this one and on this one you can see here the lighter piece was on the bottom so again I'm going to do the same thing the lighter piece is going to be on the bottom and it's the exact same procedure so take the strands opposite each other and then take 
the bottom strand over one and then under one all the way through and then take the top strand over one and then through that loop down the bottom there and then pull that tight and again just repeat that process this one is going to form the bottom leg of the cross so this one's going to end up being around about oh, three inches four inches so keep going up until you get this one to the desired length once you get this bottom section to the desired length you just want to place the shorter piece over the longer piece just so the same color is facing upwards and we want these opposite strands to be the same color too if you find that the same color is on the same side just do one more stitch either to the top or the bottom and then realign it and you should find that your same colored strands should be opposite and then it's the exact same stitch to join these two together so I'm going to take that top one down and form a loop and I'm going to take this bottom one up to form a loop and then I can take my left strand over one and then under one and just pull that through and then again I'm going to take that right strand over one and then down through that loop there on the left and then you can just tighten this one up and proceed upwards until you get the arms of the cross to the desired length which is again about an inch inch and a half so here we have one of the arms done to length and we just need to do our other arm of the cross and again I'm just going to hide these strands otherwise there's too many strands running around everywhere it's a little bit confusing and again it's the exact same procedure to get these two pieces together make sure the colors are opposite and then take this bottom strand down and this top uh, take the top strand down and the bottom strand up and then finish off the crown just by going over one under one and again with that right hand strand go over one and under one and I'm just going to have to drop those other strands to tighten this one up and keep going with that crowning until you get this arm the same length as this one when you get both arms the same length last thing we need to do is just to clean up all these stray ends so just make sure that this last knot is nice and tight and then you can just get a pair of scissors and cut it off close to the end and then take a lighter and singe off the end and then just press it flat with the edge of the lighter get it nice and flat so it doesn't pull back through the knot and then repeat for these other three strands and again repeat the process on the other side so here you are this is the finished cross if you like this kind of thing hit the subscribe button because we talk about functional and decorative knots here all the time thanks for watching thanks for sharing i like you all and i'll see you on the next video.